G'day everybody, it's Joe here again, and since it's Christmas time, I have a little bit of free time to start doing some more tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to map out a small military starship for use with a traveller campaign. Let's get straight to it. I'm going to fire up, uh, as you can see, Campaign Cartographer. I have already got loaded in the Cosmographer add-in product, which is what you'll need for this. And I'm going to go File, New, Cosmographer, pick a predefined template. Next. Cosmographer comes with many different templates for everything from uh, systems and, and uh, um, ship design, uh, planets and so forth. We're going to be having a ship and I'm just going to use this template here which is the deck plan, bitmap, bingo. So now we've got our, our deck plan, bitmap, background. It's, it's, it's sort of very Star Trek looking. We now need to set the grid up. To do this, I'm going to select Grid, and then I'm going to right-click on it. Now this will allow us to select from any number of the preset grids, 5-foot grid by 5 snaps and so forth. Uh, we've got a good grid here, which I find most, most suitable for starships, which is 1.5 yards square, roughly a metre, uh, with two snaps. I'm going to modify that slightly, so I'm going to edit, and I'm going to make this one snap, so I'm going to change its name to one snap, and I'm only going to give it one snap division. Each of those divisions is going to be 4.5 feet. It's a square grid, makes it nice and easy, click on OK. You can now see that the name has changed here, and OK. Now before we really get into this, the first thing I better do is just save this away with a new file name. Otherwise it's going to be called map and of course uh, you can save over your other beautiful maps if you don't save them. So click on File, Save As. I'm going to scroll down until I find Starships folder and I'm going to give this a name. Let's call it Scout Ship Alpha since it's the first one we've done. Fantastic. Now let's zoom in to give ourselves a work area. I don't want my scout ship to be absolutely huge, so I'm just going to use a, a, a small part of our work area. And as you can see, uh, the grid has now come into focus because we're, we're now at a close enough resolution. Each of these squares are 1.5 yards. First of all, we're going to draw, draw the hull of the ship. You do this by clicking this button here. When you load in Campaign Cartographer and the Cosmographer add-in, you'll get a whole bunch of new toolbar buttons over here and new symbol set buttons over here. So let's click on the draw hull button and I'm going to right click on it to bring up my options. You can see that you've got a number of predefined hull options here but unlike other drawing tools in Campaign Cartographer some of these have a red line through the middle of them. This means that they will draw symmetrically. Let's select the battered hull with a symmetrical line through it. Just right click on it now when we go to draw, I'm going to start by clicking on one of the grid elements. You notice that instead of just drawing a straight single line, it's giving me a mirror image underneath it. This enables me to very quickly build out a lovely starship design, which is symmetrical, with very, very little effort. Now I'm just throwing together a starship design here. Please, uh, I, I'm, I'm not a, a world, the world's best designer of starships, as you can see. Um, but I think it will do for what we're trying to accomplish here, which is really just a demonstration of how quickly you can build out a starship. There you go. There's our basic starship design. That's the hull area. Now, the next thing to do is put on the deck plan. The deck plan is the actual work, uh, space inside the ship that you can walk around in. So I'm going to use this button here, the deck plan button. Again, right click and you'll see we've got the same options. We can draw the deck with either symmetrical or non-symmetrical uh, options. I'm going to draw it with symmetrical and since this is a military vessel I'm going to use this latwork de uh, deck plating here which I love. I'm also going to zoom in so I've got a nice clear work area. There we go. 
Now you'll notice now that my snap is snapping too far off. I really need to get halfway between that yard point there. So we can come back to the grid. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to make it two snaps. And I'm going to make it two snaps here. And select OK and OK. And I'm also going to go and save the file because I think it's important to keep saving things. Great. Let's select our deck plan. Now, I've made a mistake on purpose there. Normally when I start drawing a room, I would select the corner of the room and then start drawing. But because we're drawing symmetrically, that's not going to work for us. So I'm going to push the Escape button to cancel out of that. And I'm going to start again. Because it's symmetrical, we need to start smack in the middle, the symmetrical middle of where we want our drawing to be. I'm going to actually bring this forward slightly because that's going to be a bit of an engine area there. I'm going to draw up and along this piece, up along this piece, bingo. If I refresh this, you can now see that we've got the makings of a very interesting ship. Now because I've got the style sheets turned on, you can also see that the hull has been given a lovely glow effect and a bit of a beveling and you can also see a lovely shading effect inside. Let's now draw the walls. So I'm going to draw the bulkheads. The bulkhead tool is here. I'm going to make it a fairly simple bulkhead, a, a half, uh, half foot bulkhead. And I'm going to start by tracing around that deck plan. Again, we can refresh. Let's zoom in on that so I can give you a really nice tight view of what this is going to look like. You can see very clear, very professional looking design. Let's start to extend that bulkhead out now to the interior parts. So I'm just going to scroll back a little bit, back a little bit more. I'm going to make the assumption that our engineering bay is going to be pretty much this part of the ship in through here. So I'm going to put a, another bulkhead in there I'm going to make a slightly thicker bulkhead. There we go. And maybe we've got a reactor core in there, so I'll put a, another bulkhead in there. We'll now select thinner bulkheads, back to the, the uh, half foot bulkhead. I'll draw a wall, wall across here. Wonderful. Obviously we've got a bridge area in this space. In fact, before we put any more walls in, let's start drawing the bridge itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in the bridge control panels and whatnot that can go in here. Cosmographer has plenty of really interesting um, symbols in its symbol library, and the ones that we're going to want here are the command stations. So I'm just going to click on that, and up will come a number of very interesting command stations. Being a military vessel, I want this to look a little bit uh, you know, special, so maybe something like this. Now you can see that I've got my symbol moving around neatly. Um, I'm going to rotate it using the arrow keys, so I'm going to push the down arrow there and that symbol will just fit nicely. If you see, it's, it's just a little bit too big. Now I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to right click while I've got the symbol selected and I'm going to shrink it down to say about 0.75 using the scale function. Terrific. Now, the other problem with it is that it's bouncing around a little bit too much. That's because I've got the grid snap turned on. I'm going to turn the grid snap off. Now you can see I can position it, just wedge it just in there. Terrific. The next thing I'm going to do is grab the command chair. There we go. Now, the command chair is too small because I've still got the previous symbol scale selected. So I'm going to again right click and I'm going to go set normal. You can now see that my chair is rotated at zero degrees and set normal and I'm going to put it right there in front of the commands. We'll probably have a couple of other computer systems and things for uh, other offices to use. Oh, a holographic display projector sounds like a good thing. Put that around here. Um, we can have maybe a, an interesting computer bank on the side. Now, you can see that this computer bank is not aligned correctly to that wall. In fact, I'm going to zoom in quite close now. 
that's better. You can see that it's not aligning to that wall. In order to do this, you can hold down the shift key and move your mouse. You can see how the symbol will turn along the line and then I can position it up against the wall like so. And I'll do the same thing with this funny little control system and we'll position it there. We'll use some non-command couches. Again, I'll hold the shift key and I'll rotate it. One there and one here for the comms and the navigator. There you go, that will be our bridge. That's good enough for our bridge. However, I don't want the bridge to have this hard steel uh, floor that we've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw over that using another decking. So I'll click over here and I'll choose a nice, ooh, there we go, chrome floor. Yes, absolutely, it's the bridge. It should be nice and clean. So the chrome decking looks good, but you'll notice that it doesn't have a line through it. That's okay. It will just work like, and I'm going to turn the snaps back on, but it will work like a normal floor. I'm going to leave the grid locked in underneath that. Now, that's drawn over the top of everything. Oh no, you say. Don't worry, because when you refresh, everything will drop into the correct place. That's because I have the sheets turned on. Click on this, you'll see that I've got the active sheets turned on. The sheet layers will sort themselves out. So you can very quickly make an adjustment like this. Next, let's draw a wall. We'll make this a fairly heavy bulkhead because it is the bridge and you want it to be fairly secure. So we'll just draw it straight down like so. So we've got our bridge. Now I'd like to put some cabins into this section. What we're going to do now is... Well, what we'll do is we'll start by putting in a door. So I'm going to click on the wall features button here and I'm going to put a, a hatch into the bridge. and I'm going to mark it right there. The reason why I put the hatch in first is then it, that tells me where I can put the rest of my walls. So obviously my hallway has to be this long and it has to come up probably to an angle about there and then connect in because I'm going to need another hatch here. If we redraw, you'll now see that we've got a corridor leading through the ship and some areas for cabins. I think we'll just put three cabins in since it's just a very small ship. There we go. Um, we will put some doors in. So we'll just use regular everyday boring doors. There, there's a good one. Put one there, one there, and we'll put one there. Excellent. Now this area is going to be a munitions bay and this area is going to be the engineering bay. So let's put some hatches in here and we'll make them closed hatches and closed hatches. There we go. Let's zoom out a bit and take a look at what our ship is. There we go. It's starting to look very interesting. Let's decorate some of those rooms now. 